Well, a new spike in COVID cases pushing up transmission levels for two Bay Area counties. This as another county rolls out a new initiative to try to halt future preventable COVID deaths. Well, today in the Bay's Bob Riddell is live in Danville to explain this path to zero. And no matter what county you live in, you want to hear this. Correct. Good morning to you, Chris and Marcus. Yes, later today, this afternoon, Contra Costa Health will launch Path to Zero, this new initiative, as you mentioned, designed to eliminate all COVID-19 deaths that are preventable. And they're namely doing this by urging people to go to their doctor, their local hospital, medical provider, or their pharmacy to get vaccinated, to grab a take-home test so they can stop the spread of coronavirus, and just to be aware that there are prescription medications that are free and effective if you become sick from COVID-19. The whole point of Path to Zero is to let people know that these treatments are available and how to access them, again, with the goal of preventing people from dying of this horrible disease. Now, across the bay, the CDC has reclassified San Mateo and Marin counties as having medium levels of transmission of COVID. That's an escalation from the low level of transmissions, which is where the seven other Bay Area counties still remain, as you can see on that map on your TV screen. For example, in San Mateo County, the positivity rate now near 6% with nearly 800 new cases Thursday and Friday. In many of those instances, the rates of infection are even higher than they were during the height of the Delta variant. But this newer BA2 variant isn't as lethal as Delta, fortunately, which is why we aren't seeing a surge of patients in the hospitals or ICUs. Dr. Monica Gandhi of UCSF says people should feel safer. She points out 60% of the population has been exposed to the virus and 75% of kids under the age of 17 have built up natural antibodies. I have two children, they're vaccinated, I'm vaccinated and boosted, and we have been living. Um, and I'll tell you that I was on planes last week when they dropped the mask mandate, and not very many people are masking on planes. Now, with proms and big summer get-togethers around the corner, Marin County's public health officer is still warning people to be wise about masking and get tested before those large gatherings. Reporting live here in Danville, Bob Riddell, Today in the Bay.